Welcome to day one of my comfort food every day for a month in December. I've been eating a lot of dishes from countries around the world and I've picked up on the most comforting foods. I've made a list and I wanna share it with you over this whole month. Subscribe up and smash that like button. The first one, and by far no contest, my favorite most comforting food to me is goat biryani. When I did my Indian food challenge, this thing blew everything out of the water. Look at that big piece of goat. But I found a way to make it even more comfortable and delicious and homey. Butter chicken, to be exact, butter chicken sauce. I don't even need the chicken, I just want the sauce. When you put it together like this, oh, it's a mess, but comforting foods are usually a mess. This bite with the goat, it's gonna be the goated bite. Mm. Oh, how I've missed you. Absolutely incredible. The rice, the onions, the bell peppers, the sweet and tanginess from the butter chicken. There you have it. Day one, my go-to. See you tomorrow. Day two of comfort food every day for a month. You know I gotta hit you up with the most classic of all comfort foods. This is what everybody thinks of when they hear the word comfort food. Mac and cheese. Bringing out the camping fork. Because the most comfortable time to have a mac and cheese is when you're camping. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than mac and cheese without enough cheese. But this is not gonna disappoint. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness. That hits the damn spot. You put a smile on my face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right on my alley. This mac and cheese does not mess around. I'm like Ned from the Try Guys. She. That was spicy. The only thing more comforting than mac and cheese? Spicy mac and cheese. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Day three of comfort foods every day for a whole month. Today we got Tokyo Maze Soba. It's kind of like ramen, but it's dry and it's got so much amazing ingredients like chives, green onions, seaweed, nice pieces of pork belly, and of course this beautiful egg. Actually, let's go in for a piece first. Look how juicy and fatty this piece is. Look how crazy that is. Look at my eyes. Savory, delicious. The noodles are perfection. Might be one of the best eggs. I've ever had. Wow. Best part is, give you a cup of rice for after you finish your noodles because they know there's so much sauce. And then it becomes a rice dish. See you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to day four of comfort food for a whole month. This is what I like to call the budget McWang meal. This is what I survived on as a broke high school college student. If I did good on a test or something, feeling extra rich that day, I would get a six piece McNuggets. Of course, they didn't have habanero sauce back then. I was messing with the hot mustard. The boot is the best one to dunk with. The junior chicken. It's just so nostalgic. It takes me back to those bad times, man. Still comforting though, because it's all I knew for a very long time. The McDouble. Mm. I ain't never got a McChicken or a quarter pounder. When you're poor, if there's two bites in that chicken patty, but there's like a cheaper version of that, that's what you get. Same thing with McDouble. You can't afford to choose more than that. Oh yeah. Always have your own drink at home. Much cheaper. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to day five of eating comfort food every day for the whole month. It smells so good right now. This is a classic Filipino breakfast. I think it's called long si log, but this specific one might be tosi log. Either way, they told me it's very similar. It's amazing pork sausages. They smell pretty next level. My mouth is watering. We got some garlic rice as well. I didn't even ask for sunny side up, but wow, they delivered. Succulent, soft, juicy, sweet, and savory pork. Look at this egg. What in the world? Garlic rice. Goodness. Some burnt ends. This is breakfast fit for a king. The egg is just incredible too. The tangy little sauces they give you to break up the fat. Mmm. I feel like I could drink this sauce. Oh. See you guys tomorrow.
Welcome back to day six of comfort food every day for a month. Today we got kimchi fried rice. Fried rice with some kimchi and gochujang. Who knew it would be so comforting? Spicy deliciousness. A little bit of egg goes a long way with this dish. As amazing as this dish is, the drive home took too long and the egg yolk overcooked. Still good though. You can just tell that was a once very runny egg yolk. So simple yet the flavors are so complex and satisfying. See you guys tomorrow. Day seven of comfort foods every day for a month. Pork dumplings. I don't know who invented dumplings, but thank you. Now, it's not my mom's homemade dumplings. She's a really busy woman. I'm not gonna ask her to make them because she always makes them from scratch, dough and everything. Just go out, get yourself some dumplings from a nice dumpling shop. Thin, chewy skin, sweet and savory pork and crunchy vegetables. One of the most satisfying one butter foods in all of existence. I got some leftover Nissen soy sauce pack. This is gonna be insane. Mm. Wow, dumplings are such a comfort food for me. If you haven't tried dumplings, boy, you're in for a treat. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to day eight of comfort food for a whole month. Today is one of my greatest guilty pleasures. I'm so excited. The onion rings are to die for. Where's my root beer? Gotta have the root beer. Going with diet root beer today. Like that matters. All their foods just go so well with root beer. McDonald's was my go-to back in college, but whenever there were A&W coupons, damn, I go ham. Look at that cheese action. Let's get it. Oh, mm. the mushrooms, the onions. The bun is amazing and fluffy. Ah. Oh. Took me to heaven for a hot second. A and W is peak. How do they do it? I don't know. I'm gonna eat this whole ass burger. This is your sign to get A and W today. Welcome back to day nine of comfort food for the whole month. Lamb donair plate. We got some saucy hummus. We got some kabuli salad. And of course, on yellow rice, we have the spicy lamb plate. Back in university, studying past midnight, or gaming past midnight. Oh, just try to be honest. Get hooked up with one of these. Crack a cold beer. Oh, I don't have to cold beer today. I do got soju right on the shelf there. Nah, not today, not today. That hits different at 12 a.m. Let you in on a little secret. I all know where I'm going with this. Yes, sir. Make your own damn burrito with it. Oh, hot damn. Comfort food to the max. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. Day 10 of comfort food for a month. This is a meal set from TNT Supermarket. Some of my favorite items are the spicy eggplant and the super tasty pepper pork chop. Gotta get it with the chow mein. It seems like a random meal, but it has so much significance for me and my family. When we first immigrated to this country, we didn't have much at this point. The TNT kept their prices down. During holidays and stuff, we would treat ourselves to some TNT meal sets. Until this day, we still do that, even though we're much better financially now. It's just the nostalgia, and it's still great value for what it is. Mmm. Good food does not have to be expensive. What is your most nostalgic meal? See you tomorrow. I feel comforted just watching that. Look at my ass. Nice warm soup. Chicken katsu with this warm gravy.
I'm telling you. Warm gravy on some crispy chicken with some rice. It's incredible. Don't forget to eat your vegetables. Man, I eat that any day. This thing does not mess around. Day 11 of comfort food for a whole month. I'm already feeling like tapping out, but the show must go on. See you guys tomorrow. Pagoda and chai. Doesn't get more desi than this. Well, it's not raining. If only it was raining. I'll do this again when it's raining. It's a little soggy. Hmm. Smells so good. Ah. Wow. There's very little in this world more comforting than this combination. On a cold day, darn if only it was raining. That would have been peak, but it's still delicious and super comforting. I'm the only one who can make a mess while drinking tea. I need a bib. That tamarind chutney, oh yeah. Next time you're feeling snacky and want some comforting foods, veggie pakotas with a chai. See you tomorrow. Y'all just look at this. Quit playing, y'all. This is my world famous grilled cheese. Am I getting a little ahead of myself? Nah, well, we got multiple Michelin star chef Gordon Ramsay here showing us how it's done. And I think mine looks at least five times better than that. He's a world renowned chef, but if my grilled cheese is better than that, this is my world renowned grilled cheese. Welcome back to Comfort Month. If you bisection your grilled cheese and the knife doesn't come out like this, you're doing something wrong. Wow. Does it get more comforting than this? I don't know. If you're feeling comfort food and you want something easy, road cheese, can't go wrong. See you tomorrow. Sometimes I just like to eat it out of the pot I cooked it in. Shin ramyang with Kraft Singles cheese. That is a classic and a half. I don't know how many times this thing has helped me cheer up my spirits. That has brought me comfort every single time. <laughs> so cheesy. The broth has gotten cheesy as well. Ah, ah, spicy cheesy. They come with these mushrooms, green onions, even little pieces of meat. And my favorite part of all this, Pop in that egg. Oh. Kick back after a long day of studying, watch some Naruto, and chow down on some Shinramya. See you guys tomorrow. It's day 15 of comfort food for the whole month, California roll. My favorite thing to eat at sushi restaurants when I was like eight years old. Cause just like other kids, I thought all the other items were disgusting, <laughs> the raw fish and stuff. This is just fake crab meat. Nowadays, I feel a little shy just like ordering it around my friends and family because it's just so basic. The thing is though, I have a soft spot for these. It's been a hot minute. Sushi ginger is awesome. A bit of wasabi, soy sauce. Why well, was not using chopsticks? I remember watching SpongeBob on the couch, cutting away a few California rolls. And nowadays, I feel ashamed just to get it. Mm. Fun fact: California rolls were actually invented in Vancouver. So why isn't it called a Vancouver roll? Guess we'll never know. See you tomorrow. Welcome. What is it? Welcome to day 16 of the most comforting foods in my life for a whole month. I'm kind of speechless now because these are just two of my favorite food items of all time. Vietnamese spring roll with that fish sauce. Wow, Vietnamese shrimp salad roll. They make it so big here. How did they do that? Dip it into this peanutty sauce. Where am I? What universe is this? I wanna know a hack. Down the tube and down the microtubules right here. Oh. 
Holy sh**. I feel like nothing can hurt me. Um, I ain't got nothing to say. What the hell? I'm so comfortable, I'm sweating because this food is challengingly good. Peace. <laughs> Today we're having lemon coke. Gonna rest our digestive system today and show you guys something more refreshing. That's all we need. Lemons in first. Ice. This hit different late at night at a Hong Kong cafe. If you know, you know. I'll take the extra 50 cent charge. And when I'm at home, when I'm gaming, when I'm watching anime or a TV show, I got this by my side a lot of times. So to me, this is the perfect, relaxing, comforting drink. Get a spoon, gently press the lemon, release all that good citrus flavor. Lemons are really high in vitamin C, and although Coke is really bad for you, you can at least feel a little bit better. Cheers. Can't wait to show you guys what is left for this comforting month. Eating along with me, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's day 18 of comfort month. If you guys never tried these stir fried flat beef noodles, let me tell you something. You know how much we love noodle on this channel. These are a damn classic. That soy sauce. So umami. The bean sprouts doing work too. <laughs> Comfort food to the max right now. I'm so happy. Used to always get this whenever my family and I go to dim sum after church on Sundays. Ah, that just hits different. It's one of those dishes, man. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to day 19 of Comfort Month. This is the Wendy's Baconator, the spicy version. Who knew they had it? This is what I would chow down on back in university when there was a deal. I feel like I've only had less than 10 of these my whole life, but each time it completely slaps. It is so good. Fail an exam, comfort me right up with this. Those square patties, mmm, the bacon, that kick is coming in. I never had a spicy baconator before, but this is amazing. Let's get a cross section. Oh yeah, that bite right there. That's just awesome, man. Just don't eat too many of these. They're not very healthy. I'm gonna go jog this off right now, peace. Day 20, and we got Lechon Kowali. Y'all are not ready for this. I am not ready for this. You can't top that. This thing is magical. Mm. Goodness gracious, this is gonna be the end of me. Now, lechon kawali is probably the most comforting meat option. Fat is flavor, and this thing's got a lot of fat and the most perfect texture. This is my second time trying it, and the first time I almost died. I still don't know what this sauce is, some kind of gravy, but... Tangy sweet. I would say this is a must-have. Garlic rice. See you tomorrow. It is day 21 of comfort foods, and today we got century egg congee. Oh, wow. Just the smell alone brings so many memories back. My bad. Big chunks of century egg with some nice thin pork. Forget your chicken noodle soup. If I could get this when I'm sick, I'd try to get sick a little bit more often. Mmm. It's so savory. Every spoonful is satisfying to the core. And it warms you right up because I think there's a bit of ginger in there as well. Now, a lot of my friends are Kanto, and whenever I try to say this in Kanto, because I'm Mando, I'm not Kanto, they laugh at me. Peidan siu yok jo. How'd I do? In Mando is Pita and Shorojo. Can't laugh at my Mando. That's peak. That's on point. Anyway, have you guys had this? If not, try it. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I need to see this. That is what I call a laxa. That is crazy. Got the 
noodles and seafood wrapped up in a paper bag. Look at how much goodies are in here. Clean slide. No, my notebook. Nothing beats a bowl of laxa when it comes to warming up your soul. It's the color of that broth can send you overboard. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's an egg. Wow, I'm impressed. Mm, tofu is to die for. I got this from a place called Shiok. My stomach is warm, my heart is comforted. Day 22 of comfort food, done. Chicken tikka masala and goat biryani. The only thing that can even come close to rivaling what we had on day one, the butter chicken and goat biryani. But to be honest, this might be even better because it comes with these whole onions and so many other spices. Combining them together, match made in heaven. When I think comfort food, this is in my top five. Yes. Some chai. Oh, if you're feeling cold, this will warm you up in two seconds. The onions, the sauce, to die for. This is all I need in life. This is the most comfortable month of my life. See you tomorrow. It is day 24 of comfort food for a whole month, and I guess Christmas came early. Merry Christmas Eve, y'all. Asian bakeries always have so many good stuff, I get choice anxiety every time. These two aren't even very typical things that people would get from an Asian bakery. It's the first time I've ever gotten this. I guess I'm trying new things out. This is like a Oreo cake. But this is a play on the classic pork floss bun. They call it a pork floss cake. It's by far one of my favorite pork floss anything. Let's see if it holds up. It's fluffy, it's light. Pork floss bring the texture, bring the saltiness. There's some cream to put it all together. Now to try out this wild card, I might regret this. Maybe you should have just stuck with a curry bun. I don't regret it. Mm. Merry Christmas Eve, see you guys tomorrow. Ho, ho. It's Christmas time. Hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas. Dasher and sp Splasher. <laughs> of course, we gotta hit it up with some turkey. Hope you guys are enjoying the festivities. Mmm. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Stuffing. That's always my favorite part. Mmm. Some zucchini. And some garlic bread. Make a whole sandwich. Some cranberry sauce. Christmas open face sandwich. Anyone else feel like turkey is their least favorite thing on the plate usually? Stuffing and mashed potatoes are just so much better. One of the most quintessential comfort meals of the year. We still got like six days to go, so see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to day 26 of comfort foods for a whole month. Hope you guys had a very merry Christmas. Now fried chicken is one of the most comforting foods, especially with this thick gravy. But another reason why I'm doing fried chicken on 26th of December is to pay homage to Japan's tradition of eating KFC every Christmas. I know it doesn't sound real, but oh yes. If I lived in Japan, I would not care to ask why. That's what I'm talking about. And now I know why. So holidays is a time of comfort and this brings a whole lot of comfort. Probably better tasting than turkey anyway. They know what's up. Hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Who dat? <laughs> That's the D-O-double-G, my dog. 19 Crime, Snoop Dogg's Cali Red. Now, I don't know much about wine. I just started getting into it, and I realized it is one of the most comforting beverages of all time. Aside from lemon coke, chai, coffee, wine gets me warm inside, literally. <laughs> and I gotta try Snoop Doggy Dogg's wine, since my favorite wine is red wine anyway. 
Damn, Snoop really had me working for it. Mmm, that's red wine. <laughs> Snoop doggy dog. That's fresh. Fresh from the California vineyards. Smooth, fruity, sweet, and then an aftertaste that I can't put my palate on. $20 a bottle, definitely not the expensive stuff. Cheese. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Welcome back to day 28 of Comfort Food Every Day for a month. Today we have clams. They're just little bite-sized morsels of snacky goodness, usually accompanied by good conversation, bursts of flavor, and they can be cooked in so many different ways and I love them all. Oh, I should have done clam chowder. Damn it. Little soy sauce action. Mmm. Green onions. Little drop of Tabasco. Hell yeah. Mmm. It's also fun to see the shells rack up. Finally busting out the soju. Bottoms up. This is one heck of a comfort meal. Two in one. Probably one of the most comforting things to eat while you're watching your favorite anime or TV show. Cheers. Day 29 and we got the bookie. Spicy glutinous rice cake. covered in that gochujang. Spicy, tangy, sweet. I don't know how they matched it up so perfectly. It's like a spicy mochi. Just gonna put the soju here. Not actually gonna dig into this, but since this is so red, I thought I'd contrast with a bit of green, just for whatever's left of our Christmas spirit. There's often some spicy fish cake that goes along with your tteokbokki. And the reason why we use a toothpick is because tteokbokki is one of the most infamous Korean street foods. This will warm you right up. One bite and I was sent back to Seoul where we were just walking down the street getting some tteokbokki whenever we want. See you tomorrow. Day 30 of comfort foods for a whole month. The bonsai burger from Red Robins. If you know me, you may know that I'm not a pineapple on pizza guy, but pineapple in your burger? There's just something about it. Let's take off that dress. Look at this big girl. That is a whole pineapple slice right in there. It's a teriyaki burger as well. I remember I got this as a joke once. Joke's on me, I was instantly hooked. Something about a sweet glaze with that pineapple on a savory burger. Look how juicy that is. I don't know what it is about a pineapple in between a burger with some teriyaki glaze that just shouts comforting for me. See you tomorrow. This is my go-to thing to whip up in the kitchen real quick, my 2 a.m. breakfast. Welcome back to day 31 of comfort food every day for a month. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Oh yeah. Such a juicy tomato. Easy and delicious, wholesome food. That's what this whole month was about. What a year it's been, 2022. Guys, the end of this series is the beginning of another brand new, amazing series. Starting bright and early tomorrow. Subscribe up and happy new years, everybody. See you tomorrow.